This is your morning jolt. I'm Scott Gam with the Street's executive editor, Brian Sazi. All right, Brian, some big news this morning from Walmart. They're giving $1,000 bonuses to some employees. Mm -hmm. This was a, a good first step by Walmart. They're taking the new tax law. They're going to give some more money to employees. There's a little bit of a catch, and I think they'll get a little flack for it. You have to have been an employee of Walmart for 20 years to get the $1,000 bonus, but you're starting employees, you get an 11 bucks. I think over the next couple quarters, we'll almost see a big profit boost. Why? Because all of its workers are essentially getting raises. It's incredible to see how many companies are giving money from this tax law. Uh, did they give you money? No. Not no. yet. Fair Not enough. Yet. All right. Um, still fighting. Fair enough. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bitcoin, South Korea closing some of those crypto exchanges? Yeah, I, uh, obviously South Korea is a big market for Bitcoin. Uh, but look what happened. Bitcoin is the ultimate momentum trade. What happened yesterday? Warren Buffett essentially trashed Bitcoin. We talked exclusively with Fed uh, member Neil Kashkari. He kind of trashed Bitcoin to us. Uh, why are you buying this thing if it's not going up? Mm. Meanwhile, Xerox could be merging <clears throat> with Fujifilm in Japan. Xerox is alive? Fujifilm? Like, they're, they're still, still kicking. Like, what are you kidding me? Uh, the Street's Ron Oral had a great exclusive interview with Carl Icahn a month ago. Uh, Icahn is waging a boardroom battle against Xerox. I suspect this is not what Icahn had in mind. I think Icahn's going to go on the attack and trash and uh, trash Xerox and kick out the CEO. All right, and you can sign up for Morning Jolt Get at, it. The, at thestreet.com.